Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> sometimes what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel we uh as of last week as of this recording got an official trailer for halloween horror nights at both orlando and hollywood i took some notes wrote a script for this because there's a lot of stuff i want to talk about and break this trailer down a lot of easter eggs and a lot of references in this um trailer they're all pretty obvious but i'd like to just kind of break it down for you guys that way you guys get a better understanding of the trailer we're gonna break it up into bits. I'm gonna show you the full trailer first, and then uh, from there we're gonna just uh, break it down uh, part by part. Um, about every 45 seconds or so, we'll stop it and we'll talk about each scene. So here's the clip of the trailer. Hope you guys enjoy. It's entitled Watch Party, so here it is. Frankenstein to pieces. She's already in pieces. What are a few more scratches? I don't think you get it. Hey, can you get the door? I got it. Well, the whole argument is flawed. I mean, think about how many times you've been going full in a month. Once? Twice. Hey, guys. Else. Come on in. I'm just finishing up, okay? I don't know, man. That's all I'm saying. All right. Break this down for me again. You said he's got super speed, super smell, it's and It's simple. Wet. He's faster than Frankenstein. Hey. Oh, thanks. Really? Are you guys still at it? Yeah, I know it's been a week. It's bothering me. Who are you calling? I'm just getting a text. You want some of this? Sure. Yo, 11's powers are sick, man. Stranger Things, Jordan Peele's Us, Universal Monsters, and more. Guys, hello? Guys. Um, and then that's the trailer. So, of course, this is, uh, this trailer is showing some of the, I guess, the three biggest properties that they're focusing on this year at the event is, of course, none other than Stranger Things, um, the Universal Monsters, and it looks like they're really trying to promote us as well. Um, all uh, Stranger Things, of course, is returning to the event this year. Universal Monsters is returning to uh, Hollywood, but it's in own, they're focusing on two monsters alone, which is, of course, Frankenstein and the Wolfman. And Universal Monsters is going to be going out to Orlando for the first time this year, so um, I'm very excited for Orlando to kind of get to experience this because last year we had an amazing time uh, experience it over here on the west coast so i hope uh, orlando enjoys that maze um and us is new to the event this year um jordan pills us was a hit this year earlier in the box office 
around February or March when it came out. It was a huge hit. It really uh, blew away uh, the box office, and it was uh, a lot of people thought it was better than Get Out and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this maze goes and stuff. But let's break down this trailer from uh, piece by piece and stuff like that. So, uh, here's the first piece of the trailer again, so, and then we'll talk about it. Hair Frankenstein to pieces. She's already in pieces. What are a few more scraps? So the first 15 seconds we get a uh, setup of uh, where we are in the event and stuff like that. Um, of course the theme this for this year, at, at least in Hollywood and Orlando, is the 80s again. Um, and what, the reason why I say again is because I know Orlando was heavily 80s last year. So the theme for the both uh, parks this year is the 80s. And uh, that's right off the bat. They're no shy of showing that. Uh, uh, as far as it goes with the clothing, uh, where they're staying, the way the house looks, um, a lot of the cars and stuff. We know this is modern day though, and I'll get to that a little bit later. Um, of course, we do see, um, we're introduced to a, a total of five characters in the beginning. We have three women and two men. Um, the two men are outside this house, ready f to come for a watch party, and of course, they are arguing. Oh, this is a cool little reference if you're actually paying attention to the dialogue but they're arguing of who would win in a fight, Frankenstein or the Wolfman. My boy Frankenstein is right there with me, so I, you already know who I got in that fight. But um, they go back and forth as to uh, who's better and stuff like that, and one of the guys says, you know, Wolfman will uh, chop him into pieces, and the other guy responds, well, Frankenstein's already in pieces, man, so that's how it is. Uh, and then they, you know, they keep fighting and stuff, but we cut to a scene where we're kind of in a first-person POV of someone that looks like they're watching them and stuff like that. Um, I really like how this this scene was shot because they're you know they're walking up to this house and stuff like that. They're ready to have this party and stuff like that, and so, and it looks amazing. Uh, this of course is referencing um, the Wolfman and, and Frankenstein uh, argument was of course referencing the maze that's coming to HHN Hollywood because um, as you know Universal Orlando is getting the original the whole Universal Monsters maze that we got last year. So this uh, particular scene was referencing Hollywood. And I thought about that. I also love the 80s style uh, rock music that's playing in the background of this trailer because it gives it more of an 80s vibe and I think it looks really cool. Let's watch the next part of the trailer and I will break that down next. I don't think you get it. Hey, can you get the door? I got it. Well, the whole argument is fun. I mean, think about how many times you've been in full in a month. What? Twice. Hey, guys. Month. Come on in. I'm just finishing up, okay? I don't know, man. That's all I'm saying. So in this next scene, we see the two guys knocking at the door, and like I said, they're arguing the entire time. And uh, this is the, this is the shot where we see the first-person POV of someone watching them from a distance. You kind of hear snarls and, and growls a little bit, uh, kind of hinting that it's the Wolfman. Then we see the girl, one of the girls. Uh, hears the knocking at the door and asks if anyone can get the door. One of the girls uh, replies to her that she'll go get the door. As she answers the door, we hear a noise in the outside and one of the guys actually turns around because he hears that noise, doesn't think much of it, and then he goes inside the house. At this point, it is revealed by the car it is the wolfman that was watching the entire time, stalking him, trying to get his prey. And I thought uh, it was a cool little reference to, again, Frankenstein meets the wolfman, uh, especially when they just had that argument, which was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that big reveal of the Wolfman was really cool. Let's watch the next part. All right, break this down for me again. You said he's got super speed, super smell, it's and It's simple. Work. He's faster than Frankenstein. Hey. Oh, thanks. Really? Are you guys still at it? Yeah, I know it's been a week. It's bothering me. Who are you calling? I'm just getting a text. So in this next scene, we cut to the two guys who are sitting on the couch waiting to enjoy their watch party, and they are still arguing of who would win in a fight, of course, Frankenstein and the Wolfman. One of the ladies walks in and gives him a bowl of snacks saying, you guys are still arguing about this. Why you guys, you guys been arguing about this for weeks, saying that this argument has been going on longer than uh, it should have. Um, at this point, one of the guys gets a text message from his other uh, buddy saying that, um, uh, let me read you all the text messages. The buddy says, it's scary good. He replies, where's the apartment? The other guy then replies, uh, last house on the dead end. Would it kill you to be on time? The friend replies, traffic is murder, I'm running late. 
Um, I really like the word choice they chose for each one of these messages only because it gives you a little hint of uh, still kind of a horror, cheesy horror 80s movie. Um, they use words like uh, scary good, dead end, kill you, and murder. Um, all kind of stuff that you would see or hear in a movie, a, a horror movie at least. Um, so very, very, uh, very uh, good choice of words there for this commercial because if you pay attention to that phone conversation, you'll see it on there and stuff like that. Um, let's move on to the next part because it's one of my favorite parts of the trailer. You want some of this? Sure. Yo, Eleven's powers are sick, man. So the next part shows the two men sitting on the couch getting ready to watch Stranger Things and prior to that they are arguing of, uh, they're, they're talking about uh, Eleven's powers and stuff like that so we get a little bit of an Eleven reference and them talking about Eleven and stuff like that. But as the door closes it's one of those wave back and forth doors so it doesn't like shut straight. Um, as it closes the two men disappear and end up in the upside down. This is obviously, of course, the reference to the Stranger Things maze that are coming to both events this year. Season 2 they're focusing on, and a little bit of Season 3 at the end. Um, but this is a really cool scene. So the guy stands up. They're kind of confused as to where they are. He stands up and looks outside and sees the Mind Flare um, just kind of staring down at him. And as he's paying attention to that, a demon dog actually goes and you know does a jump scare on the window, which I thought was pretty cool reference as well. Uh, the guy gets scared, walks back and goes to the couch when, of course, the friend is looking off to a, the distance in another direction, uh, terrified uh, on his face and stuff like that, and we get introduced to another demodog, which at that point attacks the both men, and that's the last we see of them. Now, this next part is probably one of my, and I know that I said that about this last part, but I really like how they filmed this uh, sequence, so let's watch that and then we'll break that down. So I must say this was probably the fair, my favorite part of the trailer, only because uh, I'm a huge fan of us. We just watched it on the live stream recently, so um, we got an insight of what we might see in the maze and stuff like that. Uh, some of our favorite scenes and stuff. Um, and uh, this scene is really good. So we have the one friend getting still touched up a little bit in the bathroom. She's you know combing her hair, making sure she looks good and stuff like that. All of a sudden down the hallway we do see a rabbit. Um, referencing, of course, us in that movie. You do see rabbits in the beginning of the movie and at the very end, they're just running around. That's a major kind of core plot point of that movie of the, um, the tethered and stuff like that, of how it started off with just rabbits and then they eventually started cloning humans. So that's a big plot point to that movie. At this point, the girl looks away from the mirror and looks outside, sees people standing outside looking at her. You find out that it's her friends, but the tethered version of her friends, which I thought was a really cool thing to put into this uh, trailer to kind of give you that us vibe, to kind of give you that vibe with saying you're going to see yourself as a tethered in there. From what I heard, this is supposed to be actually true. I don't know how they're going to pull that off, but I'm excited to see how they do pull it off. Uh, from that, we do get a, a shot of uh, her kind of turning around slowly, which she does see someone at the end of the hallway with her back uh, face towards her. And uh, the, the, the person in the red jumpsuit slowly turns around and it is revealed that it's herself as the tethered. Um, and we see a shot of her opening up her scissors and then all of a sudden she just runs and charges towards her and ends up killing her. That is three people on the list who have died in this trailer. Let's move on to the next scene and uh, let's see how they kind of end this uh, area.
last uh, last second to last scene that we see in this trailer is of course um, the girl she's walking and getting more snacks ready in the kitchen at this point the power does cut off and she gets a little scared she looks around the kitchen looks outside for a quick second doesn't find anything but then she opens the door and revealed behind her is none other than Dracula this is promoting more of the Universal Monsters maze that is going to be out there in Orlando um, and she sees she just looks out the door real quick and at that point Dracula already has his sights on her then as the door shuts he kind of pops up behind her grabs her and pulls her back bites her and ultimately ends up killing her which makes that four on this uh, in a way kill count if you think about it um, after this, we are introduced to what mazes are going to be coming to the event, um, the three they at least talked about, and of course a little bit of promotion of Halloween Horror Nights and stuff like that. But then after that, we get one last shot. Guys, hello. Guys. <laughs> of uh, the last friend that one of the guys was texting early on, and he eventually shows up to the watch party. As he knocks on the door, he says, sorry, I'm late. And at that point, we get a first-person POV of the Wolfman charging towards him and ultimately killing him. So, this trailer was really well put together and cut, and I really enjoyed how they uh, how they did it and how they introduced a lot of the properties and stuff like that. Um, and I can't wait for the event this year. Um, very much looking forward to all these properties that are coming to the event, and I can't wait to see uh, what they have in store with them from Stranger Things Season 2 to seeing a lot of the iconic scenes from that and hopefully seeing maybe the mall for that small portion of Season 3 that they're going to be doing. And of course Us, uh, which was a very good movie by Jordan Pill. Um, there's a lot of great scenes I want to see from that movie, so hopefully we'll see a lot of that. And of course Universal Monsters making its return with Universal Monsters Presents. Uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, music by Slash, so Slash is coming back to score the maze again, which I think is really cool because he did an amazing job last year, so I can't wait to see that. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on the trailer, and what did you what do you guys think of the event this year? Leave it in the comments below, letting me know uh, all that, and I love to read your guys' comments and reply and stuff like that. We got some social media. Follow us on Twitter, at the Knights of Follow us on Twitter, at Knights of Horror, and follow us on Instagram, at the Knights of Horror. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be aware of any time I put up a video. And thanks for joining the Madhouse. We are 400 strong on our way to 500. I love each and every one of you, and I will see you guys at all the haunts this year.